So first day is the 100, long jump, shot put, high jump, and then the 400. And then second day it goes hurdles, discus, pole vault, javelin, 1500. Oh, the toughest ones will probably be uh, hurdles and pole vault would be two of the big ones for me. Um, some of the other ones like, you know, long jump, shot put, and discus I don't have a whole lot of experience in. But uh, hurdles and pole vault, those are just kind of trickier ones just because uh, like pole vault, if you get a no height, obviously that's not good because then you get a zero for that. So, and then hurdles, just you know, trying to make it through without falling down because that'll that'll uh, you know knock a lot of points off too. So those are kind of the two big ones. But um, I'm trying not to think too much about those heading into the first day since those are second day events. So just trying to kind of focus on the the first half, and then we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, I guess. But. I mean, we've been, you know, most of our multi-practices, it's not like we come in and do one event one day and then we're done. So, because like, you know, you do five events in a day and even though like a lot of those are shorter running events or field events, like that just kind of wears on you throughout the day. So like you just have to be in decent shape to keep doing events after events. So there'll be days that we'll do, you know, like one or two field events and we'll have a running workout and we'll have lifting afterwards. So just kind of incorporating that you know event after event type schedule into our training throughout the whole year I guess for me just throughout the last three, you know a couple of weeks but um, just being able to do multiple events a day and running and lifting and just having that in our schedule uh, really puts us in a good place for, for the multi head man so yeah so I remember when it was Jim Fuller was the guy that recruited me here he was the old coach so um, he said what he looks at for, for the men's is people who are either pole vaulters, high jumpers, or hurdlers in high school. Just because those are kind of the three more, more like event specific uh, techniques where, like, where you're not really doing any of those other movements in other events. So he kind of looks in someone who is like really strong in one of those events and then um, tries to look to, to build off of that, I guess. But, but yeah, it seems like for the most part, most of the multis were like sprinters and jumpers in high school and maybe some vaulters too. So it's, it's not based off of place at all. It's all based off of, off of time or distance or whatever. So, you know, if I'd high jump 6'3 and get like 10th place, it'd be the same thing as whether it'd get 6'3 and get second place. So every, every mark and every time just has a certain, certain point that's, uh, that's lined up with that. And so yeah, I guess you're... You're just kind of more focused on like your own marks and times rather than where you're placing against the other kid that's going in. So uh, Bryce Malsom and Kelson Brewer are the two men, and then Dakota Hustler is the is the uh, only female multi. Um, Bryce and Kelson are sophomores, and Dakota's a freshman. Uh, Bryce is good events. He's really good hurdler, really good vaulter. His PR in vault is 15 or 15-1. So I mean that, and that's just crazy for a multi. That's that's placing at the open vault every year. So. Um, he's crazy good at pole vault. He's really good at hurdler too. He placed in the 60 hurdles for us indoor, and he's low, low 15s this year outdoor. So he's kind of looking to break into that 14 range. And so those are his two specialty events. But um, and then Kelson, he's a just a freak hurdler for us. Uh, he pro voted last year in the 400 hurdles and was all conference as a freshman, which because that's a that's an event that most freshmen don't do coming in is 400 hurdles, most do 300 hurdles. So. That's a, that was a great job by him last year. So yeah, he's a really good hurdler. He's a, um, he makes up a lot of his points in just the running events in general. Like his 400, he's you know 50 flat, high 49 will be his open, and uh, his 1500 is another good event for him. So, and um, I'm trying to think of his PR and pole vault, I believe his is 14.6 as well. So I mean, um, as far as our multi pole vault. Pole vaulters go. That's like the top of the conference having 15 and 14 six. So, and then um, as far as Dakota goes, um, she really doesn't have one that's a huge weakness for her. But I know she placed in the long jump indoor, so that'll be a good event for her. And and all those other ones she's picking up really quickly. Like she never high jumped in high school, and she high jumped five foot even at the multi, which that's great for a, a freshman girl to jump. So.